to set up customer accounts in Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up and add the customer's account into your Squarespace website. The process is very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you're going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over squarespace.com. Then you are going to log in into your account. Once you have did that, what are we going to do? Now we are going to select the website or head over the dashboard or the account dashboard, as you can see. Now, what are we going to do is to select one of the websites that we own. So I'm going to select here this. And then we are going to see the actual website. Now, here, as you can see, we have the login page. So if I click on it, I'm going to have here the um, uh, option to sign in into my account. And if I do not have an account, I am going to click on create an account. And then I'm going to only to set up the few steps as here, put in the email address, the first name and last name and finally the password. So this is already enabled in our website, but let's say that we do not see it from the beginning. So how we can add at this case for, or how we can set it up. Now, what are we going to do is to scroll down until I see here, or we see the settings. I'm going to click on settings. And from here, we are going to see all the details. Now, what I'm going to do is to head over a specific section or an item from these items. So I'm going to click on selling. And from here, we are going to see the business information, payment, customer accounts, and etc. So basically, you've uh, found the uh, thing, uh, the option that we need, which is going to be manage your customer accounts. I'm going to click on it, and then you are going to see uh, the customer accounts. You are going to enable them. So basically, you are going to allow the customers to create accounts on your site for faster checkout for the faster checkout and here uh, with the account if you are going to remove them you're going to see that it is going to refresh the website and the login has been disappeared so i'm going to head over the selling again and i'm going to enable that click on save boom now as you can see we can customize the account emails in the notification panel and manage the customer in the customer section so we are going to open up the notification and the customer, as you can see. So we are going to head over here and explore the different elements that we have. So you can see that we have on the customer account, the customer created or the account is created. So the uh, Squarespace um, website is going to send an email welcoming this customer. So it is going to have here the first name and the last name of the customer and also the website name so you can go ahead and click on edit here we have the account verification for verifying here Reset, resetting the password password updates email changes change verification and etc those are going to be the uh, notification or the emails that are going to be sent to the customers whenever they are going to do an action basically from creating an account until changing the email address that was the first thing. Now, the second option is going to be managing the customers. So basically you are going to see here the list and segments. And this list and segments is going to be here having the customer information like their email and also first name, last name. So also it is going to be filtering the orders and the total spends and the option to accept marketing, let's say emails. So those are going to be here for the segmentation of the account. So basically you are going to not uh, be able to collect the information about the new subscribers, but also the, uh, let's say the email marketing subscriptions. So basically that was everything for uh, this um, customers or account, uh, as you can see, um, the customer accounts. We can go ahead and create a section special for the accounts, or that is going to be a member only section. How we can do that? You're going to head over the content and memberships. And from here, you are going to create something only for customers or for subscribed customers. And this is going to be a member site. So we are going to click on create member site. 
and then you are going to type in the title of it. For example, here, test. I'm going to put here test. And then we are going to click on continue. You're going to create here a, a new member site, and that is going to be related to your customers. So I'm going to select this, for example, and then the content is going to be here specific for only the subscribers or the uh, customers that has an account within this page. So we are going to have here this page, login, as you can see, and etc. So here you are going to put up the paywall, as you can see, and also the pricing plans. So basically you are going to have here a pricing plans added, and then we are going to choose whether you are going to publish this content for these type of persons or, or who has uh, subscriptions or have subscriptions or you're going to put some exclusive content to them so basically you can go ahead and set up the page settings for example here we are going to set up the navigation title this log and also the enablement of the page you can add here some navigation show the header and the footer some social images or social media images and also some codes added if you want aside from that you're going to add here at the paywall as you can see you are going to let them choose a plan in order to access the vip or the club members for example here we have two options so we are going to give it right away for them so we can go ahead and modify this or only give it away so you're going to set up the name of that subscription, the description for it, and also the benefits included in this one. So you're going to get them as a check marks. So the benefits or the features. And for the pricing, you can go ahead and control it and set up the subscription for it as a recurring, monthly recurrent, or uh, let's say here, a weekly or yearly. And also you can go ahead and add it for free. So you are going to uh, add a subscription or a fixed amount. And also you can finalize this by signing up or putting a limit to the signups as like that. So with that set, everything is set up for an account uh, or a customer account. You can go ahead and see that we've had added everything. So we can go ahead and link the uh, member site right here into this page. So you can go ahead and add a link or add a page that it will be linked in here. So basically you are going to add the here specific, let's say uh, dashboard for them and et cetera. So basically that was uh, pretty much everything for setting up here a customer account from the free one, the specific space for them and also everything. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you in the next one.